Okay, pretty much now with the needle bar at its lowest stroke, you're going to see the tip of the shuttle point just peeking out right there. And as you, as the needle bar rises, watch this shuttle move slowly, it's going to come in that scarf about an eighth of an inch or so above the eye of the needle. I'm going to back it up and show you one more time, and we're going to do it from another angle. So the needle bar is at its lowest point, as the needle bar rises, there comes the point and it's above the eye of the needle. Let's get another angle on that for you. We're going to go ahead and remove the uh, patented needle guard so we can get a better look at the uh, adjustment of this needle point. So that easily comes out with this screw. Now from this angle, note the point of the shuttle just barely peeking out and that's with it at its fullest counterclockwise stroke. As the needle bar rises about 3 sixteenths of an inch, I'm turning the machine towards me, you can see there comes the point, a little bit slow, and it's right about an uh, eighth of an inch above the eye of that needle. We'll put a piece of thread in it so you can see it better. Good. So this is probably the most important part that you want to set right. So with the um, needle straight down and the shuttle at its farthest point, you're going to see it just peeking out here about one millimeter. So now watch carefully as the needle bar rises five millimeters or three sixteenths of an inch it comes in right there about in the middle of that scarf and I put a piece of thread there so you can see how that's how it would be when it was sewing okay we'll look at that one more time at the farthest part sticking out about a quarter of an inch the needle bar comes up three sixteenths of an inch or five millimeters right then comes right in the middle of the scarf and that's what you want. If it's not in the right spot here, you're going to need to lower or raise the needle bar. And we'll show you that next. Cut. So we'll go over this just once uh, again real quick. So when this is down at its lowest point, you got one millimeter of the tip of the shuttle pointing out. This rises, this rises five millimeters. And at that point, the point should be about in the center of the scarf or a little bit closer to the eyes best. If it is not in the right spot, you know, too high or too low, then what you're going to do is you're going to loosen these two screws right here on the needle uh, cut bar clamp. And with those loosened, you'll be able to take this needle bar and drop it or right raise it accordingly. So what, what you want to do is stop it with the point where it should be in the center of this needle and then raise or lower this bar so it comes in like we showed you in the previous uh, little film with the uh, point coming in there um, basically sort of in the middle of the scarf or I like it a little bit closer to the eye. Be sure when you put these parts back in and you put this plate on uh, leave these screws a little bit loose and slide it both left and right and make sure that you get the needle positioned in the center of this slot and then you can go ahead and uh, tighten up these screws. Now we're going to put this face cover on. Uh, one thing, don't forget, there's a little tension release part right here. And it's going to be real important that you get it hooked up uh, in the little controller part that's right back here. Okay? And then you can replace the cover. Okay, with this in the proper place, you're going to replace the two faceplate screws and then tighten them up. So make sure after you got the faceplate secured that you have this here. With the feet down, it, your discs better be closed. And then when you go to raise it, they should open your tension disc. If that's not closing, then you got something messed up here. So make sure that's on right or you're going to have problems that won't stitch. Okay, we removed this cover here. And uh, you can see that inside here is the mechanism that is going to um, we're going to use to adjust that shuttle to be closer or farther away. And when you turn the, your machine, see that Allen screw right there? I like to turn it to where I can, you know, get in a position that's easy to get to. Cut. All right. So now that we got that screw. It's going to be really, really tight, so uh, I'm going to put that wrench on here. Uh, I like to put like a little breaker bar on here, you know, 
something maybe like uh, this. And then maybe even a wrench on here to get it to get enough torque. And you're probably going to want to tighten it pretty securely like this too when you're done. So when when this is loose, and then you'll be able to um, move that shuttle forward or back so you can get that measurement that we showed you earlier with the uh, 11 millimeter and or you can look at it as one millimeter peeking out past the raised plane. After it's set, tighten this securely. You don't want this to slip. And also, when you're loosening it, be careful. If you don't have the right wrench on there, uh, and you mess that screw up, it's going to be really hard to get that out. So be careful on this adjustment.